Hello and welcome to Mountain Aromatics. I am trying actually a different lens on my phone, so hopefully this truly will be 4K. The other thing that I found I don't understand is that I was watching my other, my very first YouTube um, with my new phone that I put up um, today or yesterday, today, I don't even know anymore. Today is one of those days. Today is the anniversary of when my dog passed away a year ago. So I'm not all here, like, ah, I don't know what, anyway. <clears throat> when I was watching a video on my TV on YouTube, it was showing me at 480p. Why? I, I don't know. Like I had to go in um, and for the, the, the video, instead of um, like when you hit on your phone to push pause and then you go down, it lets you go over like to my YouTube page and then it has like more options like whatever and I hit the options and then it showed me that I could choose 1080p and it changed the quality like crazy on my TV to 1080p but I think I only did it at 1080p and this the color dynamics should be different on this I will see but looking at my phone I'm thinking it's what I want it to be more white less blue so I'm hoping that's it but I have my settings saved so I'll know if I need to change it any so anyway I thought I would go into something today um I think um Amy Thompson kind of a while back asked me about rum and so what I'm going to do is not only am I going to tell you oh these are some molecules that smell like rum but I'm going to like I did my research and I'm going to give you like if I had different types of rum that I was smelling before I was going to drink like really good high quality sipping rums so I think that's what I'll do first because like to make a rum accord people are like why are we talking about rum well it's perfumery and that's one of the aromas you probably already know that but some people are very very new to this and so rum that smell is one of the aromas that we use in perfumery so what I'm going to do first is tell you I went through and I looked at all of the very expensive high-end rums and all of their notes and these are the main ones that I came up with so the reason I'm giving it to you is because you can take this and get other notes for example caramel 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 however you say it um, I typically say caramel I usually I say both but anyway so looking for notes for molecules that have that caramel note um, nuts um, another big one is vanilla now to me there's like a um, more of a candy bright clearer vanilla and then there's like vanilla absolute um, vanilla co2 the real aged vanilla extract that's a very complex and very very deep and a very in a base note that's the vanilla I'm talking about not the lighter vanilla and then very typical is banana it's true um, they high-end rums so when you make think about when you're making your record you want it to be smooth rounded and rich and that is a true real high-end sipping rum that's what they're going to be you're going to look for it to being very very smooth if your rum is not smooth that's an indication that it's poor quality or not aged as well very rounded and very very rich the other things that I'm going to give you 
are some more of the notes are going to be like a dried fruit note um, and hints of cinnamon and cardamom and we're talking just hints so you know like a cardamom co2 like a, just a one percent like just a drop of that in your rum accord um dark wood typically it's going to be oak there is oak co2 i mean oak extract is it a co2 extract yeah, there's a, um, an oak wood CO2 extract. It will really remind you of wine. Oh my God, because soaked in wine, wine barrels, and they're typically oak barrels. Um, then an other notes that you're gonna find in rum are gonna be honey, leather. It's bananas foster. I'm from the New Orleans kind of area. I kind of grew up right near New Orleans and bananas foster, the, the dessert right when that's already lit and then the flame goes out and then it's still warm and hot and you're eating it. <laughs> very rich, very smooth. It's, that is, that is rum. Mm. So a warm spice. So not the cooling spices, but more the warming spice, cardamom, cinnamon, that kind of thing. Now a tiny, you don't have to add this, but some of them have a hint of cocoa, chocolate, um, and coffee. I mean, a hint. The other hint is tobacco and fig. Now, when I say those hints of it, you don't have to have those, but those are things that are found in a number of the high-end rums. They're not found in every single one. Um, some focus more on the dried fruits and vanilla. Some focus more on the caramel, vanilla, and oak, and a little bit of leather. Some fo so you can kind of tweak it that way. But some of the <clears throat> actually almost the one where I'm thinking. So I'm on to the molecules now. I, if I'm correct, every single one of those are very, very volatile molecules. They, you leave the cap off, bloop, they just will disappear. And in fact, do not even use, um, don't even put them in dropper bottles. Put them in the bottles. Like this is actually, this is bitter almond and I have it um, with a cap and I just use, um, yeah, the pipette. So there's a number of molecules that the ones that are really, really volatile, I'm about to, read, I think every single one that I'm about to read you is going to need to be stored like that. So I'm just hinting bitter almond, same thing. This is at 10% and you don't need much of it when you use it and it's highly restricted. But so ethyl, um, all, there's more out there, but the ones I'm listing now, I know are all at creatingperfume.com. And I think there are more at perfume. How? Oh, I forgot the name. I'll remember it in just a minute. I totally forgot. Um, anyway, so ethyl. All of them are ethyl. So ethyl formate, ethyl lactate, ethyl heptoate, H-E-P-T-O-A-T-E, -E, and ethyl caproate, caproate, C-A-P-R-O-A-T-E. And especially the ethyl formate, you, it needs to be at 1% and it needs to be with a cap do not it will the, the whole thing will be completely gone even if you got an ounce of it it will be completely gone in eight months nine months the whole bottle just will it's so volatile like like all of the citrus oils are very very volatile they evaporate very very quickly so those are good as well to keep caps on like this and use your pipette and for the citruses it's a good idea to have a refrigerator to put those in 
So <laughs> sometimes perfumery can be overwhelming, but when you get really into perfumery, um, like I don't have a separate fridge for my citruses. So because some of you are probably like, do you have one? I don't. I don't have an extra fridge. I do store um, a number of my materials in my refrigerator, the main one. And um, yeah, I just do. <laughs> I haven't had a problem and they've been really great and that kind of thing. So anyway, so um, some rums are oak barrel finished. And so obviously not all of them are, but some are oak, uh, oak barrel finished. I, uh, it, it's, I mean, it's absolutely a choice. I don't like those. To me, they are not as smooth and rounded. They're rich. To me, they're just they're almost too in your face. Um, but here's another assignment for those of some people will love this assignment, but when you go out or if you're at a friend's house or if you have some different rums, you should smell them just like you smell your materials. Take some Oh my God, take some of your scent strips to your friend's house or your house or wherever there's some different rums. You could do this with whiskeys as well, by the way, or um, brandy, that, all kinds of things. But I'm talking about rum right now. And write the name of the rum, all the different rums, and smell them every hour in the next day and compare them and take notes on them and see which rum that you really like that you're like to smell and you should taste them as well cuz that will ap that will actually help you that will actually help you some people are like, this show will help you fix your, make your accord, but it will help you make your accord because you're going to know you're going to taste it all. Oh yeah, I get notes of this. I, I do want to put that in my rum accord and make that. Um, so anyway, I just feel like I could go on and on and on forever. But it'd be good if you could taste some different ones, put some different ones on the test strip as well, write down the notes that you pick up and separately a list of the notes that you pick up that you really, really like. You can all 